three things <laughs> on his agenda here. Health reform, tax reform, and infrastructure spending. Joining us now, Mike Burke. He's the CEO of the engineering company, ACOM. That's an infrastructure company. Uh, Mike, welcome to the program. Um, we haven't seen much morning, infrastructure. We haven't seen much movement by the president on infrastructure yet. You're close to the president. When are we going to get some action? Well, you know, Stuart, uh, we are hoping that, uh, and very optimistic, that we are going to see something later this year. But obviously, the, the legislative agenda in Washington has focused uh, first on health care and now tax reform. So infrastructure is clearly at the, at the uh, top of the agenda, but uh, it has to come after uh, the health care and tax reform bill. But we're optimistic. Uh, are you going to be part of, uh, now you're a public company, you're a, a construction yes. company. Have you anything to do with building the wall? Uh, we do not. Uh, we, we provide services uh, for national governments around the world. The U.S. government is a very important and large client of ours, uh, but we are not involved in building the wall. Would I be right in saying that it is the states which are taking the lead on infrastructure building at this moment? Stuart, you would be a absolutely right. You know, there's a lot of talk and discussion about uh, infrastructure coming out of Washington. Uh, but today, 77% of all of the infrastructure money spent in the United States for transportation and water infrastructure are spent by state and local uh, municipal authorities. So uh, we're seeing the states uh, move out pretty quickly on this front. We saw in the November elections, we saw Measure M in Los Angeles, $120 billion tax program to fund transportation infrastructure. We saw a $54 billion program in Seattle. We saw in April the California legislature enacted a $52 billion transportation bill. So the states are moving very quickly on, on both increases in specific sales tax measures for transportation. We saw 23 states increase their excise tax on fuels to provide better transportation infrastructure. So the states are getting it right. Uh, and we're, uh, we're optimistic that once the federal government comes on board, uh, we'll see a much more robust market. And I sense some frustration on your part and other business leaders at the lack of action from the federal side of things. Am I, am I right in saying there is a degree of frustration there? Well, I, I think, Stuart, there's been uh, frustration uh, in Washington now for nine months. Uh, who, do of the legislative, uh, who, who do you blame? Who do you blame for this? Well, uh, oh, it's difficult. There's plenty of blame to go around. Uh, there, there seem to be two sides uh, uh, in Washington, and, and they can't seem to get together on much of anything right now. So uh, we're hoping that uh, uh, cooler minds will prevail in the, in the coming months and will come together because. Uh, clearly, two sides of the aisle in Washington want to see more infrastructure. Our, our taxpayers, their constituents want to see more infrastructure. So uh, everybody's asking for it, and I think cooler minds will prevail in the you, fall. You've got to pound the table a bit. You've got to. You've got to make your voice heard. It's no, it, it, you, know, you, you can't sort of step back and say, oh, well, there's blame to go around. We can blame both sides, and we're, we're hoping that cooler minds prevail. You know, at some point, you've got to pound that table and say, get on with it. You know, Stuart, uh, we have been pounding the table. I have had dozens of meetings uh, over the past uh, nine months with uh, members of uh, President Trump's cabinet, uh, with legislators, uh, with anybody that will listen in Washington. We have been pounding our fist on the table uh, to move forward with this agenda. And it's not just with an infrastructure bill. Uh, we have uh, provided a, a report to the Treasury Department back in December listing the 40 projects, infrastructure projects across this country that, if implemented, would have a very significant economic impact, an economic impact of three times the money spent on the infrastructure itself. Uh, so we've given them the ideas. Uh, we have provided them with ideas on regulatory reform that will allow us to speed the implementation of infrastructure. So we are not standing by. And I say we, I, I mean our, our company, our industry, uh, the business roundtable are all focused on this. So we're pounding uh, our fist on the table for sure. Okay. <laughs> I'd just like to encourage that. Okay. Mike Burke, uh, CEO <laughs> of ACOM, the infrastructure company, publicly traded. Mike, thanks for joining us, sir. We appreciate it, Dave. Thank you very much. Thank you, Stuart. Have a great day. Thank you.